Welcome to another round of my little Gidadema series. Today I have of course something special for you, but first of all I have to say I feel overwhelmed because I figured that my YouTube guitar channel here went meanwhile over 2 million uh, views and uh, that's a lot. I never dreamt about, uh, dreamed about these numbers. So uh, thanks for watching guys and I hope you still feel entertained. Thank you all subscribers, all viewers, all fans, all guitar lovers around the world. And uh, yeah, to celebrate a little bit for today, uh, first off, I, I, I don't bubble too much, so I really don't speak much because what should I say about a guitar like this? So what do I have here today for this uh, special uh, celebration occasion? Um, it's a 2002 model of a Gibson Les Paul Custom Shop uh, R9. So it's an early one of these um, vintage original specifications, um, the 1959 reissues. And uh, yeah, <laughs> look again, it comes with a typical uh, 59 um, long neck tenon and has a very beefy uh, neck. And um, the quality all over is very good, it, how it feels in your hands, you know, and uh, also the hardware. Uh, I, I, I don't find anything negative about it. It's just a dream guitar and it's affordable at the same time compared to original vintage uh, 59s. So this is really an affordable guitar in very, very good quality with a striking maple top. When I saw this guitar in the house uh, of a friend, uh, yeah, I nearly fainted. So this is just too nice, isn't it? It's not triple A, it's not four times A, it's five times A, it's five stars. Uh, I, I could watch this guitar uh, in the stand all day long and still would be happy, but to play it is even better. Yeah, and since it's uh, very hot, <laughs> it's summer in Germany, uh, I'm working here secretly with the towels, you know. Uh, I keep it short, it's also thunderstorm weather, thunderstorm approaching, so I hope the light doesn't go away too soon, so I hurry up for today's celebration. I also decided to use a really big amp baby, it's uh, yeah, three doors furthermore down there, <laughs> otherwise uh, the walls would come down and the roof, you know, it's an early 90s uh, 100 watts um, uh, 3 amp model MK1. Uh, it's also very seldom because it's a 6L6 model. The majority of all 3 amp models laid on were uh, EL34 models. And this one has a really big bang, you know, a really, it, it, it's good for rock. So I thought I'd do justice for this wonderful guitar. I don't tell you too much about the wood. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's vintage original specs. Uh, it's a one-piece mahogany body, it's a two-piece uh, flame maple top from the finest quality, it's a one-piece um, mahogany neck, a wonderful rosewood fretboard. Uh, yeah, I don't bubble too much, I start with the playback with the crunch first, so I let myself inspire by this strikingly beautiful guitar. And uh, have fun! <laughs>
Yeah, you see, <clears throat> I have to work with a towel here. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, unfortunately very hot today, but the guitar is also extra hot. As well as the pickups, they are called custom buckers. Uh, they have a little bit more output than original vintage PAFs. I mean, <clears throat> I played some Les Pauls. Um, they are significantly higher in output and also very yeah bassy warm yeah meanwhile these guitars are also collectible items because they they only did a limited run uh, at gibson custom shop uh, of these r9s and um, yeah the older ones from the early 2000s meanwhile i mean they keep their price and um, yeah <clears throat> this guitar is just wonderful so it's perfect for a good clean sound and um, as most of you know, Alice Paul is very good for clean sound, especially uh, when you want to have uh, a very warm uh, clean sound. So my next playback is a clean playback. I just want to uh, show you how extra fine this guitar can sound. Uh, and for this example, I use a PV Classic 50 watts uh, to times 12 combo because it goes very well with this guitar in the clean channel. And uh, yeah, have fun. It's very hot today <laughs> and this guitar is smoking hot. It's a wonderful uh, reissue 59 R9 Gibson Les Paul Custom Shop, one of the better ones. And uh, a huge thank you uh, to a very good friend of mine who was so nice to lend me this guitar for today. And uh, I hope uh, you felt a little bit entertained and um, yeah, I wish you lots of musical inspiration and bye bye. See you next time.